Yo, Jonathan here. These are the Rocket Air, which is a compact, lightweight pair of AR glasses that effectively gives you a 120 inch display that you could take anywhere. It's quickly become one of my favorite iPhone 14 Pro accessories that'll also work with tablets, laptops, and even things like PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Holy s that was crazy. Huge shout out to Rocket for sending these out and sponsoring this showcase. And for those watching truthfully, things have been a little more sponsor heavy than I would have liked recently. Honestly, just trying to catch up on the things that I fell behind on with the health scare over the past couple months. So I truly do appreciate you watching and supporting the channel through videos like these. As a thank you, I got an extra pair of these to give away and to make things a little sweeter, I wanted to pair it with an iPhone 14 Pro and a pair of AirPods Pro because together, the three of these is a pretty incredible combo. So for a chance to win, go ahead and leave a comment letting me know how you'd use these. And it's not required, but if you're feeling like being awesome, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Now these aren't gonna launch you into the metaverse. It's not that kind of device. There is AR implementation and functionality if you use it with an Android device. But the reason why you'd even look at picking these up is the portable display. It does what it says it does, and it does it extremely well. There are twin 1080p OLED displays with plenty of brightness packed inside. And the end result is this incredibly sharp, vivid, bright image with beautiful contrast that honestly, you really wouldn't expect. You also have independent diopters, which is extremely helpful if you're nearsighted and really just a great way to fine tune and dial in the sharpest image possible. There are built-in speakers, which do a very decent job, but what kind of ties everything together is that sound, video, and power are all being passed through a single USB-C cable. With that, you're not gonna have to worry about a bulky battery in the headset weighing things down. They're incredibly lightweight at 83 grams. And the parallel benefit there is you're also not gonna have to worry about charging these, which really elevates the portable experience. So if you use a USB-C equipped device, it's about as simple as it possibly gets. A pair of these and an iPad mini is honestly a Shaq and Kobe level duo. In my case with the iPhone 14 Pro and Lightning, I'm looking at you, Tim Apple, and the 2023 iPhone 15 with USB-C. There are a couple extra adapters involved, but even that aside, iPhone 14 Pro, Rocket Air, and AirPods Pro, that is the Michael Scotty Rodman level of greatness. For those that follow the channel know I'm a pretty big nerd when it comes to Dolby Atmos and spatial audio. So getting to experience that through music, TV shows, and movies with AirPods Pro and the iPhone is great. But when you elevate things and implement the glasses and that giant display, it truly does feel like something out of Back to the Future. They have an optional accessory pack that allows you to change how light or how dark the glasses are, effectively giving you control of how much of the outside world you wanna see. So what comes on there by default is what I would say is the best all around option to where you're still going to see the outside world around you, but then get a really good look at the screen. You can again go lighter, but if you want that movie theater like experience, the darkest option is kind of wild. Again, so if you go this route with headphones or AirPods, it does really feel like you're sitting there in a movie theater. And the fact that you can pack this in a backpack is amazing. Now, again, this is a sponsored video. So I understand the perspective of anybody watching being like, okay, but is it actually good though? So what I wanted to do is just let everyday people try this. Like I don't own a TV. Like I just have like a projector for like TV and for like Netflix. So this kind of gives me that vibe. Like it's like, yeah, like I just don't need a TV. Yeah, the resolution seems pretty damn good. I mean, although I could see things on the side of my face, you know, once you're focused on the screen, you're kind of really immersed in the, yeah. the speaker is also, you know, not it's, since it's so close, uh -huh. it's more immersive. This is sweet though, I like it. What we did was use their USB-C adapter that allows us to work with Switch and put itself into dock mode, grab a controller, and you got a portable gaming experience. Dude, that is actually pretty crazy. That's really cool. Cause you basically can take that screen wherever you go. The graphics, no, it's really good. And I do like how you can see past it too. So like you can kind of see on the side too. It's more comfortable than like the, the VR I feel. Cause you can still see like some stuff around you, you know? And that's, yeah. that's huge, because with the VR, it can be very, uh, it can get you like motion sickness, you know? 
I like that the sound is good too because you can hear like just the subtleness of the game, you know, but like yeah. not it's not obstructive because I could hear everything you're saying. Oh, to take things to an even more ridiculous level, we've been working on this portable 11 speaker Dolby Atmos setup that we can break down and take anywhere, effectively just giving us the ability to create a pop up and let people experience that. It's all being run off my MacBook Pro, which isn't the biggest screen in the world. And then I had the idea to plug these in. And now you have this immersive speaker experience with a 120 inch display. That was crazy. Definitely a worthwhile experience because like, I think the shot of like seeing the fans crying along. I'm not a Billie Eilish fan. Never heard a Billie Eilish song in my life. Um, I definitely like, it gave me like chills. Like seeing the fans, that was really cool. That of course is the extreme of the extreme use cases, but it is cool to see whether it is that ridiculous 11 speaker Dolby Atmos setup or something as simple as the glasses and an iPad mini, it adds value both ways. If you wanna check these out for yourselves, I believe they still have a special deal going on that I will link to down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. This is Jonathan and I will catch you guys later. I feel like I'm in the pit. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. yeah.